Hello everybody and welcome back to Learning and Technology. My name is Frank and I'm glad that you're here. In this video I'm going to talk about Microsoft Teams and I'm going to continue with that theme for the next few videos that I post on this channel. So if you're interested in that make sure you hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you know when a new video comes out. And if you like any of the videos, if they prove to be useful to you, please hit the like button so that other people can discover these wonderful tools as well. I'm going to start off by showing you how to install Teams in this video, and then we'll go and work through some of the other aspects of Teams. So by the time you watch all the videos, you'll be really confident and ready to perform using Microsoft Teams. Let's go have a look. Let's click on the web browser, and let's type in the URL teams.microsoft.com. And this will bring me to the web interface for Microsoft Teams. I can authenticate as a user that has access to Teams. So in my case, I'm using a team member here, which is my Bender account. I put in Bender's password. And then when I sign in, I have the full web-based experience of working with Teams. You can see I can use the web app instead of the Windows app. And this is my web interface. I can turn on notifications. Down below here, I get a link to install the desktop experience. And that'll invoke the uh, executable download. It detected my operating system. You can see that it's going into my downloads. And I'll just close this, and then what I'll do is, is once it downloads, I'll open the file, and this will kick off the installer program. So I'll now close the web interface, just so you can see that I'm actually putting in the setup executable, and Teams will now install very quickly onto my desktop, and then once it's installed, rather than using the web, I will now sign in, only have to do this once, to the desktop. And from now on, I will have the desktop experience for Teams. There's also a shortcut on my desktop there. And you'll notice that now that I sign in, it'll be the exact similar team. Well, it'll be the same team, but you'll see a similar interface, but this is the desktop. And then down below here in the corner, instead of a download Teams, I can get the QR code in order to download the iOS or the Android app. If you don't want to use the QR code, you can just go directly to the App Store or the Google Play Store. And if you go in there and do a quick search for Microsoft Teams, so I usually type in Microsoft Teams. If you type in Teams, it might uh, take you to a few other apps. But if you go to Microsoft Teams, you can see right here, in my case, it's saying open instead of download little cloud, but that's because I've already installed it. But there you go, that you can, so you don't have to use the QR code. That's how you would do it on a uh, iOS device. Android device is very similar. On a Mac computer, it's the same location, so you just do the exact same process. Go to the web browser, open up the URL, and down below you'll see the install to install the application on a Mac. So there you can see, it's very easy to install Teams. We can run it as a web app, we can install it as a desktop app, and you can even install it on your mobile device in iOS or Android. You can have Teams no matter where you go, you can interact with your Teams using any of those methods, and it's very, very handy. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit like. If you want to see some other videos on this channel, I'll put some links up here for you as well, and I appreciate your watching. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe.